Hi everyone, Harlin here. Welcome back. Chris and I have been cruising on and off for the last decade. We've been to Alaska many times and the pictures that are scrolling by here are from our Hawaii and Canada and New England cruises that we took last year. I am creating this video in hopes that something that you see might spark a thought or an idea for you if you're getting ready to go on a cruise. I've written a blog on this subject, so I am going to be reading through that and showing you pictures as we go. I will post everything that is able to be linked for purchase in the description of this video. And just to let you know, I do not make any money if you click on one of my links. I only provide them to be helpful. So let's get started with what's in my carry-on, my must-haves, and some of my packing tips and tricks. I will begin with showing you my carry-on bag and what I normally will keep with me on our journey to the jet or even in the car. Then, once at our destination, I will have the bag with me if I want to take it on excursions and so forth. This is the bag that I used for our Hawaii and Canada and New England trips, and it worked like a charm. It is a Vera Bradley campus backpack in Midnight Paisley. I'm sure I look like a girly girl carrying this through the airport and beyond, but I didn't care. I'm pretty comfortable with myself, and I really don't care what others think. I love Vera for its versatility, structure, and usability. I have searched for something that better suits my needs to no avail. I have made my way back to my old standby in my Vera. So let's see what I usually put in my carry-on. My 13-inch MacBook Pro. We load some movies onto this, and it becomes the holder of thousands of pictures that we take. My earphones to use on the plane or in the car. My Kindle Paperwhite. A wallet with cash, credit cards, and our passports. It also has a little chain attached. Pretty if I want to use it on the ship to carry a lipstick, tissues, etc. One of these pocket folders that will hold our cruise documents and travel insurance papers. I take the other two folders in my checked luggage as well. I use them to store our princess patterns and any other info I collect from the ports, etc. I use all of that information in my blogging and maybe I would use them in some scrapbooks if I ever get the urge to create one. I always bring this little notebook to be utilized for journaling and taking notes about wherever we are at any given moment in time. I am a stickler for the facts being correct. A little catch-all bag. This is a Vera Bradley Medium cosmetic bag with possible necessities for the flight or car ride. A crossword puzzle book and a few pens. I love doing crossword puzzles. It gives my brain a workout. By the way, before I continue on, I did want to let you know that Chris and I only cruise with Princess. Well, we only have cruised with Princess so far. So a lot of these things are, when I talk about the Princess patterns and so on, they are the informational sheet that they give you when you get on board and you get one each day. So just wanted to let you know about that too as we go through this. Princess provides all of their passengers with luggage tags, so to keep them nice, I recently discovered these luggage tag holders. They work beautifully, but I will tell you that in years past, we have simply taken packing tape and covered the tags with that and then stapled them onto our luggage. That worked just as well. Now for some of the things I take to be utilized while on board the ship. First, I take Clorox wipes. And the first thing I do when I get to our stateroom is wipe down the doorknobs, light switches, desk area, TV remote, sink, toilet, balcony railing, chair arms, tables, etc. You just can't be too careful. I take my own shampoo. I love Princess Cruises, but I do not love the shampoo and conditioner that they have on their ships. Theirs is housed in a nifty pump dispenser hanging in the shower. It's not bad, but it makes my hair go flat. I'm a southern girl. I do not like flat hair. 
Here's what I'm referring to. This is the pump duo that was in our mini suite on the star. So I take shampoo with me. This is Chris's everyday go-to brand. I take my Redken as well. I take two bars of soap. Yes, I take my own soap. I like it much better than the shower gel that they provide. I also bring travel-sized shower gel and lotion. I bring a little hook to hang around the towel rack in the shower. It will hold my shower cap. I know, sounds silly, but I have color-treated hair and I do not wash my hair every day, so a shower cap is a necessity for me. I bring disposable shower caps. Aren't they pretty? While we're talking about the bathroom, let me show you this cute little toothbrush holder that I found online. I really love it. I also bring hand soap. I do not like having a bar of soap sitting on the sink at all times. One of my little quirks, I have many, obviously. This room spray is the best stuff. Just to let you know, there are no exhaust fans in the bathrooms on the cruise ship. So I find that having this odor eliminating room spray makes it a bit more pleasant to exist in our space. At times, <clears throat> you get my drift. I hardly ever need to take Tums, but I always need to take them on our cruises. The food is so different, richer, and there is so much of it that I invariably overeat and need a little relief. A flashlight is nice to have, even in a balcony cabin. I just feel more secure knowing that we have one in one of the bedside tables just in case the lights go out for any reason. We carry a Travel 1875 hair dryer with us. It would take me about 20 minutes to dry my hair with the hair dryer that they provide. It's usually hung on the wall at the desk area beside the bed. Now, I know that a lot of people balk at the thought of doing laundry while on vacation. But I find that doing just a little bit makes me feel better. So yes, I do do laundry while on board. Don't judge. That said, it isn't cheap to do laundry on board. It costs $3 to wash and $3 to dry in tokens. Then, if you don't take your own detergent and dryer sheets, you have to spend more money to purchase them out of a vending machine type thing that also requires tokens. Oh, and you retrieve the tokens from the token vending machine that is in the laundry room using your cruise card as payment. Here's the laundry room on the Star Princess. It is free to use the irons and the ironing boards. Can anyone say cha-ching? Cha-ching, though? I take Tide Pods and Downy Dryer Sheets. Did y'all know that the walls in cruise ship staterooms are metal? Yep, they sure are. So I take a couple of clip magnets to be used to hold, oh, I don't know, that day's princess patter, for instance. I took along a package of large clips. They can be used to hold your beach towel on your chair or possibly to hold your curtain shut, especially in Alaska when it hardly ever gets dark. I take a pair of scissors. One never knows when one might need to cut a tag off of something or possibly a string. I try to remember to take a little sewing kit. And I always take a pop-up laundry basket. This easily fits into the closet in the staterooms. And I always put a downy sheet down into it to help with any interesting smells. I always take some Dramamine and Bonine just in case of really rough seas. Chris and I have never really gotten seasick, but I always take them just in case. I've also heard folks speak of, about queasy beads, but I'm not in the know about them. I'm sure you can Google them though. First aid kit is always something I try to remember to throw in. I take a little kit of cold meds, pain reliever, etc. It is much cheaper to have that stuff already with you than it is to buy it on board. They do have a small sundry shop on all Princess ships, though. Here it is on the Star Princess. 
just to let you know one more little tidbit of information, the sundry shop and all shops on board the ships are only open when you are at sea. Don't forget your sunscreen. I also take a portable suitcase scale, handy to have so that you can switch things from one bag to the other to try to distribute the weight sufficiently. I've gotten in the habit of taking a couple different size Ziploc bags. You never know when you might be able to use those for something. I love this little travel clock. It works like a charm. I'm one of those people who, if I wake up in the middle of the night, I want to be able to see what time it is. I found this on Amazon. It is a marathon atomic travel alarm clock with an auto nightlight feature. I purchased this lanyard when I was on board the last time, and I found that I loved using it. Here are our cameras, and these are definitely some of our very most important must-haves. We also take this device charger. It will charge anything with a USB cord attached. Great to have on the plane, especially if there's no place to plug in. I wear this little camera around my neck as I walk around the ship. I probably look a sight, but I love to have this with me to catch anything that might meet my fancy to photograph. And I take my selfie stick. I can hear you chuckling now, but I love to take pictures of us as a couple, and it is easier to accomplish that task with a selfie stick. Now let's move on to some packing tips and tricks. I utilize two different packing tools that help me keep everything well organized and help me take many more items of clothing than I've ever been able to take in the past. This first tool is an Eagle Creek Packet Garment Folder and a few other tools are packing cubes. Here's a little video snippet of me packing up to go on our Canada and New England cruise. You will see me utilize the packing folder and the packing cubes. Hi everyone, I thought I would show you how to work this packing folder. We are packing for our Canada and New England cruise, so I thought I would just show you how to do this. It comes with an instructional piece here and so it's just a matter of following directions but I thought I would show you anyway. You put your garment face down and then you place your packet folder instruction sheet on top and then you just fold it over. Fold your sleeves down like you would normally fold but kind of gives you a the size exact it folds it to the exact size that you're going to need to go in your folder. And then you just pull up the bottom to where it stops. You can feel it. And then you remove the instructions and I turn them over and put them like this so that they lay flatter. But there you go. How easy peasy is that? Let's do one more. Put it face down. My handy dandy little instructions. Fold one sleeve over and then the other side over. Fold up the bottom. And pull it out. Actually, I should pull it out after I turn it over. But anyway, turn it over. And then a little tweaking. And there you go. You will not have one wrinkle anywhere. Trust me. Easy peasy. Love it. All right, I'm getting ready to shut this up. As you can see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tops. Two of them, though, are to go under my ponchos. So I am taking a little bit extra, but not too many extra. But let's see how I can close this up. I had like 20 tops going to Hawaii, but of course, they were lighter weight tops. There we go. And that's it. There's plenty of room. I can still see that there's some wiggle room in there if I wanted to add more, which I'm not going to. Try not to overpack. Look, it even has a handle on it. So I've got that, and then here are all of my pants and my two ponchos. I'll have 
those. This is all my unmentionables and socks. And then I'm going to pack up my nightgown and my night knock around clothes here. My little fancy dancy little slippers to match. And I'll be done other than just to stick my shoes in, which I think I'm gonna stick them in there. I am taking my boots, so they'll take up some room. But that's it. And you can see I'm gonna have plenty of room in my suitcase over here for, here's my bag. That's for my breakable cosmetics. This is all my must-haves in there. A couple of cups. Here's another shoe bag I got. So I'll be able to do that. This is our medications. Here's my jewelry. Here's my magnet. <laughs> and I'll need one other bag for my cosmetic bag and one other bag for some brushes. And that's it. I'll be done. I'll be back. I'll show you when everything is finished. This is a weekender bag. I always take this bag folded up in my suitcase on the trip to the cruise. That way I'll have an extra bag to use for souvenirs and whatnot at the end of the cruise. Also, they pick up your suitcases, especially if you're flying home on a cruise ship, they usually pick up your suitcases the evening before disembarkation. So I use this bag to put our morning toiletries in and the my nightgown and slippers and whatever other things we need to utilize in the morning. Last but not least, I always take a crossbody bag with me to use on excursions or any time we go off of the ship. Okie dokie, there we go. I've tried to give you a little glimpse into what I take on our cruises. Remember, these are just my own personal choices, and I don't mean to say that everybody would need these exact things, but maybe this can provide a little template of sorts for those of you who might be embarking on a cruise in the future. Until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.